Hello and welcome to the fall 2022 Sweets and Treats Caregiver Training. Today, we are going to be talking about how to go ahead and log in to create your online storefront. My name is Doug Mostrom and I'll be your host. I represent M2 Media. M2 Media is one of our one of the two vendors for the uh, partners with the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida for the fall 2022 Sweets and Treats program. M2 Media, what we do is we provide the magazine subscription fulfillment, the customer experience, and the online platform, which is what we're going to focus on uh, during this training. The online platform, otherwise known as M2OS for M2 operating system. Sometimes I refer to it as the platform or the system as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how to go ahead and create your online storefront. First of all, how to get started. The website to get started uh, uh, in this program is located in the middle of the M2 flyer. It's also located on the order card as well as on the council website. But that website is located right here on this flyer and it is gsnutsandmags.com slash wg, I'm sorry, slash gswcf for West Central Florida. Once again, gsnutsandmags.com slash gswcf. At any time during this program, you can go ahead and put that into your browser and simply you will land on this landing page, which I'm going to bring up again in a little bit. In order to get started, all you do need to do is create is to click on create an account. Now what you see in the lower right hand corner are the avatars. The avatars are our way. It's our signature item for this program. It's the way for the girl to create a likeness of herself in the digital world online when creating her storefront so that that likeness can be her salesperson right in this program. And then after she's created her storefront and her avatar, she gets to walk away from the computer, go about her regular life and let the system do all the work for her. Now, this entire process takes about five to seven minutes to create your storefront and I'll walk through walk that walk you through that in just a few short steps. But please understand that the girl besides being able to create her avatar, she is able to actually earn a patch with her avatar on it and her name on it. And she's able to design that patch right in the system. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But keep in mind, all she needs to do is create her storefront, which includes creating her avatar, entering 18 or more email addresses of family members, friends of the family, maybe people that our parents work with. And then once she sells a total of three magazines and 30 nut and chocolate items, either online or in person, this patch will go into production and be mailed directly to her house. So she'll have a patch with her name on it, 2022, and the avatar that she created. Now the avatar that she created for the patch sake of the patch purposes can be in the wetsuit, it can be in the swim shirt, or it can remain in the outfit that she originally designed her avatar in. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a few short minutes. But I wanted to highlight also a second patch that she can earn by participating in this program. And that's called the cookie crossover patch. The patch that you see on the right-hand side is another avatar patch that she can earn this Girl Scout uh, uh, this Girl Scout season um, year by participating in both the fall program and the cookie program. What does she need to do to earn the cookie crossover patch? All she needs to do is, is participate in the fall program by entering 18 or more email addresses into this online system when she creates her storefront and then sell 300 packages of cookies during the cookie program. And if she does both of those, she'll end up with at the end of the Girl Scout year, two avatar patches, the one on the left and then the one on the right that she earns by participating in both programs. So with that, let me go ahead and pull up the online storefront so you can see how all this works and we will be able to walk you through this in just a few minutes. Now this is the landing page. So when anybody types in gsnutsandmags.com slash gswcf, they'll land on the landing page and allow them to create an account. Again, this is a process that will only take five to seven minutes. Simply click on create an account and then type in the zip code that you're located in so our system knows that you are part of the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida. There is the parent adult permission and responsibility pledge. We ask you to go ahead and read and then accept and continue. 
And there's also the Girl Scout Pledge that we ask you to read and then accept and continue. And on this first page is all the for the parents to put in their information, their email address, and then create a password. And that email address and that password is what they're going to use to go ahead and log in every time after creating their storefront in these five to seven minutes. Simply click register and then the four step process starts. Now I'm going to stop that training video because if you forget anything that I say, feel free to listen to this video in its entirety and have it remind you of things that I'm telling you right now. But for the sake of the training, I'm going to simply go through the three three um, items on this first step. And item number one is to go ahead and enter your troop number. Now go ahead and enter your troop number. If you don't know your troop number, you can click on I don't know my troop number and that's okay. It'll The system will allow you to continue creating your online store. After you're done entering your troop number, go ahead and type in your last name and then hit search and our system will go ahead and display your name up on the, the screen for you to go ahead and select and then move forward. Now, if you have a nickname, go ahead and type in the nickname. You can't change the first name or the last name that you've selected, but you can enter a nickname and then answer three simple questions. The three simple questions are, what does being a Girl Scout mean to you? We have five different uh, choices here for you to read through and then select the one that you like the best. I always choose, I can make the world a better place because that's something I like to do. Then we have a preset goal of three magazines and 30 nut and chocolate items. Just like I said in the past um, regarding the personalized patch, that's actually the criteria that it takes to earn the personalized patch. Feel free to go ahead and make that goal a little bit higher or a little bit lower if you want to, but I'm gonna show you how you can change it down the road. I'm gonna leave it the same because I'll leave it as three magazines, 30 nut and chocolate items. Then we ask one final question on this page, and that is, what does your Girl Scout, Scout troop plan to do with the money earned from this program? Now, I live up in the mid-Atlantic area, and I have taken a lot of girls to Washington, D.C. to be able to tour the White House. So I always like to add that in. Now, what these three questions do is it creates a short little paragraph that will appear on the girl's storefront for the customer to be able to, to see. We believe and we've seen that the more the customer understands about why the girl participates in this program, what her goal is, and what the troop plans to do with the money that is raised from that customer support, the customer is more likely to be supportive of this program. Once you're comfortable with the answers of step number one, go ahead and confirm those answers and then move forward to step number two, where that is to create an avatar. Create your avatar. There's over 3 billion different avatars you can create with all the different features, including skin tones. You can have uh, eye shapes. I'm gonna scroll through some of these so you can kind of get an idea of all the different things. Eye color, the three main eye colors of green, blue, and brown, and then facial features, smiles and noses and braces and freckles and braces with freckles, including masks. So pick one that looks as close to you as possible, and then we'll move forward to the next step, and that is going ahead and designing our hair. So we have all sorts of different hairstyles that I'm going to scroll through so you can pick the hairstyle that best matches your situation, and then we settle on that, and then we'll go to the hair color, actually. Um, the hair colors, you know, your basic colors of blonde, red, um, brown, uh, black, and let's see, we'll settle on for me for that one. And then highlight the hair if you'd want to with pink or green or no highlights if you don't want to. And then we'll go on to the body uh, type. You can have a little shorter, even if you have a wheelchair, you can go ahead and select the wheelchair. You can have a little bit wider, a little bit thinner. And then we're gonna choose our clothing. Now we have all the different uniforms available, plus all the GSUSA endorsed and um, uh, GSUSA uh, outfits that are available in the system. And we can go ahead and, as you see, just kind of pick something that best matches our personality. On the bottom, we can have shorts, we can have skirt, we can have, once again, all the GSUSA um, endorsed clothing as well. And then we can either choose socks or go ahead and go straight to the shoes. Now, we have lots of fun shoes, including high tops and slippers and vans and Uggs and Crocs 
whole bunch of different fun things for the girls to be able to choose from, including even the slippers from previous year's mascots. So those are always kind of fun to do. So I'll settle on something like this. Now, after we create the avatar and make her look like, oops, we can actually add some accessories too. Maybe we wear glasses. Maybe we have um, glasses on top of our head, a tiara, maybe a bow on top of our head with some glasses. Um, maybe moose antlers from one of our previous year's mascots. Lots of fun, different accessories to accessorize yourself with. We're gonna settle on the aviators for today. Now, after you make the avatar look like yourself, did you know that you can make her sound like yourself? That's right. Our system allows the girl to record her voice. And last year, every girl who recorded her voice for her avatar generated 50% more in sales than those girls that didn't add their voice to the avatar. So look how easy it is. All you do is click, uh, simply click on record now and our system will ask, is it okay to access the microphone in your computer? And when you click yes, this page comes up on the screen. Now, we provide a sample script for those girls that just want to read the sample script and record their voice in that. I always encourage the girls to get a little personal um, and say a little something to their customers directly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up something just to show you how easy this is. When you're ready to record your voice, simply hit record and then talk. Hi, my name is Tammy and I am a Girl Scout of Girl Scouts of West Central Florida in Troop 200,000 and we're trying to raise money to be able to travel up to Washington DC to tour the White House, an exciting event that's something most of us have not had the opportunity to do yet. So will you please be supportive of us? Click on the online link to our online store, renew all your magazines and buy yummy nuts and chocolates and we'll get to Washington DC. So when you go ahead and click stop, our system automatically adds your voice to the avatar. And when you click preview down here, you'll see what the customers will see. So that is exactly what the customers will see. And we're done with step number two. Step number three is actually optional. We can go ahead and Take advantage of step, oh, look at that. We just earned a digital reward for recording our voice and creating our avatar. I will show you where those digital rewards show up. But step number three is actually optional at this stage in the game. You can go ahead and take advantage of it by uploading a personal photo of yourself and or a personal video of yourself. So a lot of girls like to create videos, put a little jingle to it, talk about the products that are available for sale and personalize it a little bit further. However, for the sake of the training, I'm gonna skip through this, but I'll show you how you can come back to it. We also highlight the personalized patch and let the girls know that, hey, listen, all you need to do now is enter 18 emails into the last step of the system in order to earn this patch and then sell three magazines and 30 nut and chocolate items. So let's go ahead to step number four. Step number four and the final step is simply entering the email addresses. So we have two different ways to enter the email addresses. You can enter them one by one by going ahead and typing them in one by one or we can go ahead and click on the uh, button at the top here that relates to our mail system. When we click on the button at the top, you're allowing our system to pull up all the email addresses in your computer, just like that. We can go ahead and click add all those contacts to the same page, or we can go ahead and um, just like I showed you here, we can deselect whichever ones you want and then add them into the system. That is the easiest way to add a lot of email addresses all at once. But for the sake of this training, I'm only gonna enter the one, which is actually my own. And then I wanna point out something over here. There's the girl delivery option. Now, all the customers will have the option to order nuts and chocolates to be delivered to them at the end of the program by the girl herself, where the customer does not pay for any shipping, or if they prefer the convenience of Federal Express delivering those items to their doorstep five to seven days after they place the order, um, they can and where they pay for shipping, that's their second option. So if you want to turn off the girl delivery option for any particular customer, all you do is uncheck it and they will no longer have the ability through the emails that are sent out to those customers um, to be able to click on the option to have the items delivered to them by the girl. Now, why would we wanna turn this off? Well, maybe because the customer lives in California and we live in Tampa, Florida. That would be one reason why we would wanna turn that off because 
yeah, the customer will save on shipping, but boy, oh boy, it'll cost the girl a lot to be able to get those items out to California. Unless, now pay attention, unless the person in California is grandma or grandpa or it's aunt or uncle and they come to Tampa and visit for the holidays or they you go out to California and visit them where you could actually take it out to them. So don't always unclick it just because somebody is geographically undesirable because you just don't know their motivation. We find time and time again, grandparents will buy items. They don't want to pay for the shipping. They know that the items are going to go to the girl first. And then they call up the family and they say, you know, I just bought 10 items from you. Keep them at the house. Don't worry about trying to get them to me because I'll either be coming to visit you, you come visit me, or I just want you to enjoy those yourselves as my donation to this entire program. So you can entertain with those items when people come to visit. But the option is right there in the system. I'll show you how you can get back to that. Now you can simply launch your campaign. And we are done uh, creating our storefront. Our system has now created links to our storefront. Our storefront is created. Now we can share the links on Twitter, Facebook, or via text messaging. When I click Facebook, for instance, our system goes ahead and creates the ad that'll show up on our parents' Facebook page, for instance. And all we have to do is click post to Facebook and that ad will show up on our parents feed for all of our parents followers, friends and family workers, uh, co-workers to go ahead and click on their ad so that they can support the girl's efforts. Now, We've gone ahead and shared our storefront. We've created our storefront. We've shared our storefront. And now, as I mentioned before, the girl gets to create her patch. This is really fun in the system too. Watch the patch on the left-hand side change as the girl makes her selections. She can have her first name at the top. She can have her nickname, or she could have her initials at the top. She can go ahead and keep her avatar in the outfit that we originally designed her avatar to wear, or we can go ahead and have her change into a wetsuit or a swim shirt um, instead. We can change the background from the paddleboard over to the snorkeling gear um, and then decide what we want our avatar to wear in that picture as well. Once we design the, the patch the way we like it, we lock it in, put our mailing address in, and then save that information. And then our system displays to you what the envelope will look like when the patch arrives at the girl's house. Now, keep in mind, all the email addresses, all the physical addresses, we keep those in the system. We don't use them for any marketing purposes to benefit our company at all. It's in our agreement with Girl Scouts USA that all that information stays and we do not use it for our benefit in any way. Um, it is only used to benefit the, this program. So what happens is when the girl earns the patch after she's entered her 18 email addresses, reached three magazine sales and 30 nut and chocolate items, this patch will automatically go into production and then be mailed directly to her house. If she earns the patch on the first day of the program, the patch is being produced on the second day of the program and then being mailed out after that. So now that we confirm that information, we can go ahead and manage our program from our dashboard. The dashboard, oops, there's another um, digital reward and I'll show you once again. Now the dashboard looks like this. Every time the girl goes ahead and logs in um, after creating the storefront the first time, this is what the dashboard looks like. Keep in mind that her progress towards her goal is right next to her avatar on her dashboard. And always encourage the girl to pay attention to her to her progress. Because if she reaches her goal in the first few days, like most girls will, and then a customer comes to her storefront and sees that she's already reached her goal, what is that customer more likely to do? They're likely to say, you know what? Wow, she's already reached her goal. I'm off the hook. I don't have to buy anything. Now, what I always encourage the girls to do is keep an eye on their progress and then go ahead and click on this link right underneath their avatar when they're ready to go ahead and uh, increase their goal. By simply clicking on uh, update my details, we can make this from four to just, or three to nine, and this to 50 items. Come down here to the bottom, hit update, and then you'll see that the dashboard is also updated to nine magazines and 50 nuts and chocolates. Now, parents with more caregivers, parents with more than one Girl Scout can go ahead and click on add another Girl Scout right there or down here at the bottom where it says plus one to create a campaign for another girl without having to log out and log back in. 
we've already captured the parent's information or the caregiver's information. So now all they need to do is click on either of these two links to create another campaign for their other Girl Scout. And then when they want to go ahead and switch between Girl Scouts, they'll cl simply click the icon that says your Girl Scouts will display all the campaigns that that caregiver created and allow them to select whichever campaign they want to start looking at. Now, there's two different ways to participate in the Fall Sweets and Treats program. One of them is by picking up the order card and talking to customers face to face. But we ask, and then the other one is creating the storefront. We ask, we encourage everybody to do and take advantage of both ways to participate. But when you sell the order card items face to face and you fill out the order card, we do ask you to enter that information into the system. This icon that says manage paper orders, you click on it and there are all the order card items in order as they appear on the order card. And we simply ask you to go ahead and update how many items of each you've sold throughout the program. Now, a lot of girls will go ahead and sell the very first weekend. And if they do, maybe let's just say for sake of training purposes, they sell three of each item. We go ahead and put in three of each item in weekend number one and click update. And look what just happened. We just exceeded our goal by one nut and chocolate item. Once again, we can now go in and make our goal a little bit higher and then hit update so that the next customer that comes to our, our site sees that we're still working towards our goal. Now, let's say that the girl goes out on weekend number two and sells three more of everything. She'll go and click on manage paper orders and see the first three that she sold, change that to six now. And she goes ahead and changes that to six items and then updates that information. And look what just happened. We're now at 102 of 75 nut and chocolate items, a lot of sales. And then we can go ahead and increase our goal one more time to maybe 150 items and hit update. So the next customer that comes to our storefront sees that we're still working towards a higher goal. It is that simple. It will always be a running total. Now I'm gonna change all these back to zero because these are real sales that I'm gonna take out of the system. But these, this will always be an updated total of what you have sold in the system. And um, you always wanna keep that, that updated. Now, another icon you can click on is the email icon. When you click on that, you're gonna see all the email addresses you originally put in the system. At this point, if you wanted to unclick girl delivery, you can for any particular email address. And you're gonna see over here on the far right hand side, what has happened to that email since you launched your program. The, the uh, key down here at the bottom, it's called a status key, lets you know that, wow, it's turned yellow. So that email has already been sent. Actually, if I pull up my cell phone right now, I'll probably see that email in my inbox right now. So at any time you can click on the email icon, you can add more email addresses, you can change it. If you see that that person hasn't, um, hasn't opened up their email, you can go ahead and click resend so that the new email will appear at the top of that customer's inbox in hopes that they'll open it up and be supportive of the program. You can click on the reports tab. The reports tab tells you about all of your sales. You can have it appear on your screen for all the sales that have been created, just the magazine sales, just the direct ship nut sales, the nut order card sales. Um, you can even see all of your campaign stats. Have I uploaded a video? Have I created my avatar? Have I sent 18 or more email addresses? Um, you can see all the online girl delivered items and every report in the system allows you to print, download and save, or go ahead and email those reports as well. There's some, there's some other uh, tools that we build in the system, such as a personalized door hanger or business cards. And when you click on either of those, our system automatically creates them with the girl's avatar and then information on how a customer can go ahead and follow the simple steps to get into the girl's storefront and be able to buy items to be supportive of that girl. We always encourage the girls to use these tools, print them out, carry a stack of business cards with you when you go to the dentist or the orthodontist, or you're going to a family event and you just wanna say, hey, when everybody gets home tonight, pull out my business card, go to your computer and please renew all your magazines, buy new magazines, gift magazines, and of course, shop through my chocolate store and buy all the yummy items that uh, please your palate 
and I will be able to get up to Washington, D.C. and uh, with the rest of my troop to be able to um, tour the White House and have a really cool experience. So those are great ways for them to get even more sales. They can go ahead and click on their campaign video and at any time update their campaign video, um, upload a campaign video um, because we skip through step number three in the process. They can click on personalized patch and update um, how that looks if they do it before the patch actually goes into production. They can do the same with the avatar. They can even see the avatar rewards that we've earned. Remember, I said I just received a digital reward for creating my avatar, sharing on social media. This page allows them to enjoy all the different items or all the different digital rewards for doing different things in the system. We actually set these up so that if the girl takes advantage of the actions and the features available in our system, she will more than likely be more successful than if she didn't take advantage of them. That's why we offer the different digital rewards. But also on this page is something really cool. It's called the troop photo. This is actually the number one feature that girls come to look at. They look at the troop photo to see all the avatars that their fellow troop members have created. And then over here on the left-hand side, when the troop leaders create theirs, the troop leaders avatars will also show up on the troop photo. When we go back to the dashboard, let me click on another item. All the physical rewards, the patches, and the really cool rewards that are available for the girls who are successful in this program are can be viewed and managed right underneath the rewards tab. When you click on it, you'll see all the different patches, the criteria that it takes to earn them. You can see that, oh wow, I can earn a project thank you patch if I go ahead and sell five, get five donations, five or more donations from my customers. Then they can earn council dough, they can earn jewelry, they can earn plush, they can earn more council dough. Gel, gel eye masks, plush items of the, the mascot this year, which is the Hawaiian monk seal. They can earn device holder that to take, put their phone in when they go to the beach, all sorts of different things. And the really neat thing in our system is when the girl earns a reward, our system will place an earned banner across the reward. And then if they get to a, a reward level where there's a choice, let me see, here's a choice. Um, no, those are, they get all of those items. So when they get to an item like this, where there's a choice, it'll say earned across this, and then it'll display radio buttons for the girl to be able to click which, which set of rewards at this level does she want? Does she want the $25, $20 program credit, the basic uniform uh, voucher, or the emoji stamps, seal journals, and diamond art sticker crafts, for instance. So our system is really neat for the girl to be able to come back and see all the rewards she's earned and then make her choices when she reaches one. At any time, they can go ahead and share the links to their storefront on Twitter, Facebook, or and or text messaging. Last year, 10% of all of our sales came from the links that were clicked on when girls shared it on Facebook, Twitter, and via text messaging. It is a great way to let more and more adults know that this program is going on and how to be supportive. Over here on the right-hand side, you can update your profile at any time and then see the top sellers in your troop in real time right over here. So that is really as simple as this program is. It only takes five to seven minutes to get to the, to get through setting up your storefront. And then you can go ahead and share the links to your storefront, build your patch, and then manage your program very easily from the dashboard with all these other really cool ways to um, act like and treat this like a business and learn from it and enjoy it as well. So thank you very much for uh, listening to this training and good luck to all of you for the 2022 Sweets and Treats program at the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida.